stuck in your teeth. Are you in the chip danger zone? Kind of. I think I've passed a little bit, but you never know. Well, you got a new, you got a new chip right there, so they are kind of sharp. There's always the potential for danger. Greetings, <laughs> humans. Uh, I am Spinning Mantis, uh -huh. and this is Squirt Reynolds. Chewing Reynolds. Yep, eating um, kettle, salt, and vinegar. Are they uh, reduced fat? Yeah. Yeah. Reduced flat. <laughs> reduced fat, but not reduced flavor. Yeah, they're really, really tasty. I came to Dick. Bright Falls with my yeah. wife, Alice. <gasps> Thank you for coming <gasps> here with me. Maybe you could write here. Did you notice that his wife is Laura Palmer? Now she's I'm dead. Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I missed the like, well, weird. I was attacked by shadowy men. You know, those authors are on the sauce. Yeah. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. That's some shit right there. <laughs> Not one, but two, not two, but three years ago. Three years ago. Still wore the same coat, had the same haircut. Yep. I had my fuse box right inside the front door. Open. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. He actually looks like older here. Hmm. So I'm not gonna talk to her. Where? What room is she in? She's not in the kitchen. She, she was in the. <laughs> oh, <laughs> funny. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. <laughs> Fuck oh. that chair. Yeah, get out of my way. <laughs> Yo, chairs. Psst. You're not my friend. Okay, so this is a blizzard. In New York City, it does look like a looks pretty like you're like on, apartment. Yeah, it looks like you're on Fifth Avenue or something. Very nice deco buildings. Looks like we just moved in, maybe? No. Not just moved in. There's a lot of books on the bookshelf. Maybe you're about to move out. Mm -hmm. She's in there. Nope. Oh, yeah, See ya. Bye. See ya, Alice. I gotta go wash some clothes. Gonna go take a bath. Use. Oh god, I hope there isn't an uncomfortable uh, video game sex scene because, like, video game sex scenes are, like, the worst and they're often in, like, mature mystery games like this. Really? Yeah, like, watching, like, horrible video game porn? Video game boobs. Turn on. The Nothing. Freezing rain turn. and heavy snowfall have necessitated a winter storm warning in the entire tri-state area. People are advised to stay indoors as many roadways are already closed. And city officials I'm just drafting there with all the windows. Is there anything in that closet? Ooh, it's dark. Where's my flashlight? Where's this your clothes? Is, this is my, my shame closet. This is where you go where you've been bad. It's the binding closet. Hmm. This must be my orifice. Examine. Why it's a chair. Ooh. Return to sender. Return to sender. What I can't forget. Freaking shirks. Alex Casey and Alex Casey Thriller. The things that I want. The fall, the fall of, Casey. of Casey. Sounds. And you got like some guns, maybe? We're not going to read the whole thing. Surely. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private oh, nice. stuff movie. A oh. memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking mm. in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. He's thinking in metaphors, the literally. Place, the <laughs> of the that killed me. So, this is sour taste. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. A gruesome slushy? <laughs> no. Gruesome 
slushy, dissolved all the scattered <laughs> painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer, mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Oh man, he's so pulp, he's so, he's so edgy. Mm-hmm. See, see, you saw some guns. Well, I guess maybe it's an award right there. Oh, like the two, yeah. It's the double gold gun it's award. the crime writer's award. It must be. All right. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, nice. you seem to think so last night. Uh-oh. I know. Examine mock-ups. I guess they're the ones. Yeah, the ones we just didn't look at in in our office. They weren't active yet, I guess. Uh-oh, don't answer the phone. Something bad will happen. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan! Please check the fuse box! I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Honey, so it's a power to outage. I I've got the flashlight. Does she have to okay. stay in the, like... Hi. You okay? With the light on? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I'll flash this in your face. I know it's so stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Yep, gonna be Tell sexy story, now. Writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. Come here now. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. He's holding the clicker right there. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Or is that just their remote control? Mm-hmm. Please don't get it on in the shower. Cause video game love scenes are terrible. Remember when I was playing The Witcher? And like oh, you saw goodness. some of that stuff in The Witcher? How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorder, well, anything any like that? Actual sex None just of the love like, scenes, just I'll the just ladies in their outfits. Yeah, bending over with their Yes. Like butts all over. The sexy I'm okay. My head's fine. Yeah, her yoga pants. Yeah. and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. We'll get your drugs. Excuse me. That is Ooh, like nice a computer. Advanced computer with the big three and a half inch floppy drives. Floppy drives, hell yeah. Oh, there is a fish. I believe you'll find I'm the sorry you had to office. cut your morning fishing um, short for just this. Go down the corridor. Oh, she's oh. a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. You're good to go, Mr. Wake. Sarah's probably waiting for a chance to okay. talk to you. Nice fish. Let me just push him out the window. 
No. Mm. What's that creep over the corner? That person looks like they creep in. Thank mm -hmm. you for the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. That lady. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. She's like the log lady. Yeah, exactly. The sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. I'm gonna go let some criminals out the knack for winning contests. That's probably a picture of one of the developers. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. probably the development team. Mm-hmm. They all worked on the game, I'm sure. Put themselves in as a little joke. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Oh. What desk? The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. Huh. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake. It's here. here. That's some good news, right? Right. Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really crashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Chains out. All right. Do you want to read your paper? Oh. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin. That's who gave us like the key. Like a woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Oak. Okay. Hey. Sheriff it's probably Cooper in her. Waiting for you down the corridor in her probably office. in her office. Yeah, no, I was just looking for those secrets. I found that thermos. Oh, okay. I think the thermoses actually don't do anything. Those are just the little secrets. And if you collect like fifty of the thermoses, by the end you'll get a little special thing. But yeah, now we're going back. Your phone, Mister Wake. It's like Have you started looking for my wife yet? My Ooh. men are already on Not it. Now, tongue. can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd locked me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. Hmm. Well then. I actually, like, in real life, I would definitely talk to the cop. I'd be like... Just so you know. Something crazy I going on I need some fresh here. air. Can I go out? In the back, maybe? Of course, Mr. Wake. I understand. Okay. You can get there through the cells. Deputy Grant can show you the way. I'm sorry. So All of this, it's just a lot to take in. I figured with the whole questioning thing. I understand. Can I ask you what the call was about, Mr. Wake? It's personal. Your mama. Well, we are looking for your wife, and I'm going to need your cooperation if I'm going to help you. I need a moment after I get some fresh air. Okay. You can find Not me suspicious here. in the least. Yeah, I feel like she'd be like, mm, no, we Mr. can Wake, go can out I there help together. You with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake. You can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I thought he quit drinking for good. Oh, no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny hey, pretty badly. Hey, he started hey, shouting like a Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. 
They won't listen to me. I I need it to be bright in here. Okay. In spite of its human mask, to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Well, there you go. All makes sense now. All right. Hey! Hey! Hey, you! The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Let's examine the junker. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for you to sign up. That's not a junker. It's just over by the left fence. Police cars, umbrellas. So the focus on. Now, that's the junker. Okay. Hmm. Yep. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Take my wife, please. <clears throat> the caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. I bet you at some point you're going to flip that switch and make the ladder come down. I bet at some point you will. Maybe now? Wouldn't let me do anything. Mm. Vitted. Show. Do you kick one of those in? Saying go this way. Oh yeah, I gotta just go out the way. I couldn't see the hole I made. We steal a cop car? So where does the little thing need to be on the... Like usually up, up at the top at north. Okay. Kind of shows us which direction to go. So I think we have to exit through the, the like building. Through the building. Hello. There is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Oh, so that was on the TV. Okay. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent and regrettable little outing. They are not accountable for their actions, of course. I can assure you that my staff has been reprimanded. Tor and Odin never caused any trouble to anyone when they were still living at their farm. Indeed. 
All we can do is to slow down the progress of their dementia. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I have to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! Wait, Take what? it easy. So she was reading his book, that guy's book, and they were gonna... Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Just Wake, sucker punched him. my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I don't I think she'd let him out after he punched that dude. No. But you know those lady cops are not very tough. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. So who's the, the doctor? plan was to rent a cabin. I don't so, like it, Al. I don't like any of it. She was it's talking not to him. Good. He was like earlier, like in you saw that like maybe in the past he had some violence issues or some mm -hmm. temper issues, and like she was reading this book by this doctor who Oh, he was a specialist on writer's block, I think. Mm, uh -huh. And she was like, oh, well, I got you into the seminar with this doctor. And he's like, damn you. Right, and that's what they had their fight about. And that's what they had their fight I about. I thought he had the fight about the the typewriter and the fact that she was pressuring him to that write the right. I remember that part. Opposite of good. Mr. Wake. Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Ew. Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This yeah. is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Yeah, what did she do to make her hair heavy? The skeleton of a Colombian mammoth. Mammothus columbi. This specimen, estimated to be 14,000 years old, was recovered from the La Brea Tar Pits in 1981. It was donated to the Elderwood National Park in 1998 when the Colombian mammoth became Washington State's, Washington's state fossil. Named Buck Tooth Charlie, it has since become the park's official mascot. I think that was very important to the story. And all of a sudden it got like really loud too. Oh, this is stuff you could buy in like the store. Mm -hmm. Little little hats, little Ranger hats. Effluents. Who's Rusty again? Rusty. Seriously, Al. What you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. This talks to Rusty. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? What was the last time you slept? Are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, got, I'm missing a Barry week. And someone's got Alice. Do and everything's just... Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. <laughs> wait here, dude. I've got to talk to Rusty. Is, Rusty, is this Rusty? Don't think so. Hello, Rusty. That's the. Are you Rusty? There was a back there. Was the first aid kit? Did you see that? In the. 
Back here? Yeah, in the kitchen. The other way. There may be... Oh, I'm really surprised that it did not have good stuff in it. Sure is a good eye. But it didn't have anything in it? Couldn't interact with it. Not yet. Right. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? I guess. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. <laughs> Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. Just get the damn form, Alan Wake! Hey, shut up! A kidnapper? Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Afangul. Forget about it. <laughs> Sorry, I take for Rusty. I think He's gonna rent his cabin. Wanted. And here are the keys. <laughs> Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. Oh. It's at the end of the hey. nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. How's Max if you doing? Have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Oh, and hey, oh, you take a doesn't walk look like needs walk. Watch your steps so you don't end up like Max. I guess I'm a little worried. We got a bunch of campers out there we haven't heard from. It's not like these people are on a schedule, but with the traps, well, you know, I just don't want any trouble. Right. Thanks. What about that mountain? Mm hmm. Okay. I think I listen to Barry yammering on about. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air. A guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that, that from people who I'm glad that you tried that. Time in padded rooms. <laughs> Kinda, um, take out my gun. They're horrible stereotypes, sir. Are this like culotte shorts? I think so. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. You gave me an hour long you could lecture probably just on go homeopathy and not month. have to listen what was it? to all this. If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. There pure. we go. Woo, keep moving. Bye. Yeah. That's just crazy talk, Al. Jesus. Al. Shut up. Oh my god. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, the killer. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. Yeah. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. What's the season? <laughs> Just be careful dusty. with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance <laughs> all over again. Archie! <laughs> Bless you. Well, let me shoot him. This trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. I bet you at some point that'll come into it, like where you're both hiding, you know you and like he starts me. sneezing, and he'll get Lock killed because. They want yeah, you to yeah. set him up as like the annoying non-stop talking guy so yeah. that when he gets That's killed, you're like... So well, that is a good place to end this episode. I hope you join us next week for more episodes of Alan Wake. 
It's going to be about 10 Come hours. on, now. It's crazy. You want me to believe that you shot some guy and he went poof in hey, the air? Oh, my God. Call the FBI. Call the FBI. Achoo. Achoo. Very much. Very much. Very much. That's all for now. If you like these videos, we appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Bye-bye.